Hello, I'm Michael Glass from MichaelGlass.com, where we make informed decisions about our financial future. This is our Forex Technical Analysis video update. Before we begin our video, we always like to start off our disclosures. Any symbols that you see today should not be inferred as a trader recommendation. No matter what form of investing you choose, stock, forex, futures, option, they all have a level of risk associated with them. You can lose all of your money. Any strategies we show today are for informational purposes, future results are not guaranteed, and finally, any investment decision you make is solely your own responsibility, trade at your own risk. As we said, this is our Forex Technical Analysis video update. In each of our videos, we will review the prior system's price action to come up with key support and resistance price levels. We'll look at the crude and gold charts to come up with leading sentiment. We'll come up with a low volatility watch list, an inside bar watch list, and we'll have an economic uh, calendar update to see what could affect our future and open trades. And finally, if there's time, we'll have an education spotlight at the end. Let's pull up the charts. Here we are looking at the daily gold chart, and we can see the nice bounce off the 20 moving average and just a continued uh, push higher. Um, here's our inside bar, little doji, also an inside bar. And really, of course, Friday's action was a nice move up as the market fell. The gold made a rally. And now it's making a push back to 1900, back into our previous swing high here. So we'll see if we get a double top or if we're going to make a new high. As we continue to say, uh, it's your level of risk tolerance. Uh, it's There's always a pullback. I mean, right here, who thought we we're going to get a pullback in two days? We got a pullback to the 20 moving average. Uh, so I, again, my risk tolerance is to wait for a pullback. Yours may be different. As we come over to our hourly profile, you, you can see just how we pushed up, breathed, pushed up, breathed, and pushed up. So we kind of went up on light volume. We got a little accumulation of volume here at the 1875 price level. But we have to go back several days here. There we go. And we can see, begin to see, where price is now, right here at the 1883, and we can see that little push up that we got. So, you know, it makes sense for us to test this 1900 area where we are. Doesn't mean we're going to break it, doesn't mean we're going to stay there. You can see there is a little accumulation here of volume at that 1900 price level. So, uh, it's going to take an effort to get us up out of there higher. So, strong gold means what for our dollar currency pairs starting off with the pound dollar we can see the push lower and a bounce at the 200 moving average which is where air kissed at but you can also see that you know uh, our, our line here 1.06 is where buyers are finding value buyers finding value so buyers are finding value here to 200 at our 1.6 level this is the range that we've been trading in. So now that we pushed all the way back down, will we begin to move back up? Well, we'll have to see. Um, as we go over to our shorter time frame, the one hour time frame, we can see we are below our long term moving average. We were in a buy zone. We're kind of sitting right here at the edge of neutral in a buy zone. Um, what we can see is that although the dollar is in control, that the pound is moving up uh, right there with it, which is why um, uh, we got to push down and then a lot of sideways action because the pound's moving up, but the dollar moved up with it. Um, so that's why we saw we're really seeing this sideways action after the push down. You can see here where the dollar really took control, and we have that divergence. That's where we got to push down off of neutral, and then here they met, and then they, again we got that divergence. And that's where we push down again. And now as the pound is starting to move up, uh, we're getting that, that uh, sideways action. So if the pound can cross over the dollar and take control, we will see us begin to make that move up back to the top of our range. Otherwise, with the dollar control, we may go down and actually physically touch that 200 moving average or the bottom of our range at 1.607. What about the euro dollar? Well, here we have a little bit of a bigger range that we're watching, but in addition, again, where buyers are finding value, yes, we have uh, our support of this channel down here at 1.39, but 
but we can see in this area here, you can kind of see where buyers in the past have found value. So it's going to be interesting what happens here in this 1.4 level if, in fact, 1.41, if, in fact, buyers will at least hold price here as we try to move back up or will we come all the way back down. Now, in theory, we still do have in higher lows, but we need to hold this. If we don't hold this, then our higher low uh, thought process will um, be out and we, we probably will put, make a push down. This is really the first price action that you would say is tradable. I mean, we've been in this tight range forever. So we'll have to see if the uh, bears can continue to have control and continue to push price lower. What we can see is we've got our breakout of our range that we are watching, tight range. We came back in, noticed that the range held up again. And then once we broke to the downside of that range, uh, we really made our push lower. So we're below our long-term moving average, and we are in a buy zone where the pound dollar was sort of a neutral, the edge of neutral and buy. We are in a buy zone here on the euro dollar. We can see uh, the dollar took control here. That's our price action moving down. They converged. Dollar took control again. They moved down. Even here, there's a divergence. The dollar moved down. So as long as the dollar is moving down, uh, 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 continue to move higher, then this pair is going to continue to move lower. Um, we can see that the dollar is moving sideways to up here, and the uh, euro is moving sideways to down, with a little move up here into the close. So as long as the dollar is in control, we will move lower here on a daily chart. Uh, but again, it'll be interesting to see what happens here as we get close to 1.41, if the buyers will step in and at least hold that price level. Finally, we're looking at the dollar franc on the daily. We 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 got our move up. Uh, we got into this range to test. Remember, 0 0.81, 0 0.8318. We were watching that for a month. We didn't quite make it there, and then we fell hard here. But we do have a hammer here. Uh, buyers did step in here and bring price back up close to the twenty moving average. So uh, the the buy the book trade is above. Uh, Friday's high here would be that hammer uh, breakout to the upside. Uh, so that'll be something to watch on our early time frame. We broke out of our range that we were watching. Notice that when we came back, at first it was support. Once we broke back inside it, we went all the way back down. And, I mean, you can just see this. And once it became support, even though we broke through, we came right back and tested it. As support, so you know that's why you'll see lines all over my charts because I I do believe in the power of trend lines uh, and support and resistance. Here we can kind of see that uh, the dollar is in control, but it's fractionally. You know we may see that switch. Um, the franc has been trending higher here, and that's why you see the pair trending lower on hourly as the dollar moves sideways and the franc is moving up. So if the franc takes control, then on our on our daily we will see a push back down to this 0.7614 price level. Moving forward to our watch list, starting off with our low volatility watch list. This is our one hour time frame using our standard Bollinger Bands and watching the high and low price of the upper and low Bollinger Bands. Right now we're going to be watching the dollar yen going into a Monday session. Uh, not, none of them are perfect, but uh, as we've been saying often, uh, but we're trying to give you a hint of what might set up. Our end start bar watch list is the pound dollar. This is watching the high and low of Friday's range as compared to Thursday. And then you hope for a break for the direction of the trend. And so our end start bar watch list is going to be the pound dollar. For our education spotlight, we've been talking about pulling the trigger, and, and as we bring that currency to it in, having trouble pulling the trigger on a trade really indicates a lack of confidence either in the system or in oneself. And I was speaking to uh, a client the other day, and um, Thursday, and I was speaking to a, a, a female client the other day, and they were talking about, you know, it's just about confidence. Because you see, there's a gazillion systems out there, and most of them work. They're, you know, so usually it's not the system; it's the person trading the system. As a, a technology person, I used to say, the problem is in the chair, not in the computer, with the people that I work with. And trading is the same way. The systems usually work; 
It's whether or not you follow the system exactly how it's supposed to be. So the way that we can overcome all of that is documentation. Document, document, document. Learn the system. Learn where your stocks will be. Learn where your targets will be. Prove that you should have positive expectancy that over time this system works. And then that will help you pump up your confidence and trade the system properly. All of that is about developing the right mindset, which all of our videos are about. They're all about emotions. They're all about the psychology of training. You can find our videos on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. We have a page on Facebook, Are You Financially Literate? And we have a great free five-video course that helps you develop your own um, high probability trading setup. So chart is a chart, so uh, this will work for Forex, Futures, Stocks, whatever. But our coaching is what we hope can take you to a new level. And we hope that the video and our videos that we share help you give you a, a gauge into our teaching style. We'll work with you one-on-one, -on -one, help you to develop that personalized trading plan where we document it so that you can have the confidence to trade it day in, day out. Cash for our trades, it doesn't change the spread or the trading conditions. It's just rebates that you can receive, PayPal, ACH, or Wire. Why not get paid to trade? And finally, if you're looking for signals, you can have these signals given to you, trade automatically, or you can get the signals and trade it yourself. A ton of providers so that you can find one that matches who you are as a trader. Very important to find one, not just with a good record, but with a good record that you feel comfortable trading. Because in the end, as we said, pulling the trigger, whether someone gives you the signal, whether you see the signal, is about having a trader's mindset and the confidence in your system. And we do that by documentation. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time.